The cheetah, the most specialized member among felines, is the fastest animal on earth. It can run up to speed of 120 kilometers per hour and can accelerate from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 3 seconds. Their long leg body is specifically built for attaining such speeds that makes it a successful predator in the wild. Ancient Egyptians often kept cheetahs as pets, tamed and trained them for hunting. It will be better if we can have a lot of captive cheetahs, or captive big cats, because uh, in the wild nowadays it's pretty much risky for them to survive. Uh, as you know, the biggest predator, the most dangerous predator in the world is human beings. One of the royal families of Bahrain decided to keep a cheetah too. I will strongly say that if trained under a professional, they can make really good pets. A four-year-old newly captivated cheetah, Chitara, which looks incredible. She's the biggest female cheetah in the Middle East. If she was a cub, definitely I would love to train her and it would have been easy and I would have enjoyed it. The problem here is she's a four-year-old cheetah and she hates humans. She don't like humans. Why? Because the process of trapping her was little rude that she lost all the trust in humans. It brought out her wild killer instincts. Seven trainers from all over the Middle East tried hard to get her under control. Everyone gave in. At that time, the head of the family thought to have a trainer from India. Akbar the Great, the ruler of Mughal Empire, from 1556 to 1605, kept as many as 1,000 cheetahs. This led the Bahrini to believe that someone from India will be capable enough to fix this problem. So, they went on a search for big cat trainers. Fortunately or unfortunately, there was no big cat trainer in India except some circus animal trainers. However, they came across the name of a known figure in fixing dangerous behavior in dogs, Chris Wolf. Wolf being his nickname, used by the European trainers to address Chris because of his unique skill to fix very aggressive behavioral disorders in canines. When I went to Bahrain, I was expecting her to be in a cage, but unfortunately, she was in a room. That was the most difficult part of it. If she is in a cage, we really can't see where she lies. Now she's in a room. You never know, she might be um, resting just behind the door. Where we, when we open the door, there are chances for her to rush outside. That was really difficult. On the day one, I underestimated her and I went inside. I went inside the sense, I opened the door, I tried to get inside the room. It was a shock for me. She, you really can't imagine how fast she reacted. She whacked two times on my leg and she tried to get my leg, yeah? For God's sake, I somehow managed to close the door. Yeah, this incident put my self-esteem, uh, self-confidence low. On the eighth day, I managed to get inside the room completely. But, however, without not much of animation. self-confidence low. On the eighth day, I managed to get inside the room completely. But, however, without not much of animation. Mm -hmm. 
I was living with her for 12 days inside the cage. I was eating with her, sleeping inside the room, which helped me to build a nice bonding with her. Thirty seconds remaining. No wonder that Chris Wolf also misses her badly. The Chitara is now happy among the members of the family and has become one among them, sharing their joys and sorrows.